everybody it's nicole um i know it's been a while um still recovering uh with whatever is going on i did um manage to get into the doctor yesterday um they have uh, drawn some blood and are going to be doing some tests to figure out what's going on um and until then i am going to do my best to take it easy which um might be a little difficult because I've got an influx of orders that I need to take care of. Plus, obviously, I want to do filming of the orders that I did get in. I got a lot of orders and I wanted to kind of uh, get, um, uh, like, I guess a lot of them in so that I can kind of batch fill uh, film them and then uh, each day release uh, one, you know, one video each day. And then um, in the meantime, like today, my plan is uh, I have to uh, pour uh, at least one resin item for a box. Um, if you caught my live on Sunday, I'm going to show you in this video uh how the uh, tray and the trinket box came out and then for those of you who won uh, my subscriber and my surprise giveaway my plan is today is to box that up and ship it out um and then also for the person that won the uh jar that lights up uh that will get shipped out today uh so that's the plan because i also need to pick up a couple um, more flat rate boxes from the post office so that'll work out uh well as well so that uh i can print the postage out uh pack the boxes uh for the the win you know the prize winners along with the orders that i have and then um and then i need to at least get another couple more large flat rate boxes for the orders that I do have that um, I have uh, outstanding. So I think if I can manage to get uh, the orders that are due uh, through Etsy uh, this week, I'll be good to go. Um, usually what takes the longest is the Etsy orders because it's, it, uh, as funny as it may sound, uh, unless you specifically request uh, a certain kind of yarn, I pick off of what like the yarn tells me belongs to that particular person. So um, sometimes it takes me all day, sometimes it doesn't. So um, hopefully it doesn't take me all day uh today because i'm really tired today and i would uh i want to try to get everything that done done so that i have the ability to sit down for a little while and and relax and kind of recoup um because even after i think i got last night a total of close to 10 hours of sleep i am still completely and utterly exhausted but um you know I, uh, I have, you know, commitments are commitments and I want you guys to get your orders. Obviously the prizes need to go out and, um, it's, it's important, important for me to keep my commitments. So anyhow, um, so for this particular one, uh, this video, what I'm going to, um, be unboxing is um i ordered from it is let's see hold on it is uh brenda's knots and loops i've ordered from her before i ordered a um a yarn art uh cake from her and unfortunately the um the label ripped and i so i the the yarn is perfectly fine. It's beautiful. Um, so 
and I want to give it to somebody. So I hope whoever gets it doesn't mind the fact that the, uh, the label is ripped. If anything, what I'll do is I will fold the label in half and I will stick it into the cake so that you know exactly what it is. Um, but it, it, like I said, it is a, it's a beautiful cake and, um, I'm sure some of you will probably know, uh, what it is. Um, and then I also ordered from her a mystery, um, box. So it actually came in a bag. So it's her, I think it's a $50 mystery bag. And so I want to unbox, uh, that as well. And then, uh, I will also be showing you what the uh, the the tray and the trinket uh, box came out looking like for the mystery box that goes to the winner for Mama G's uh, fundraiser that she had on her live last week. Uh, so, and it's not completed, obviously I need to sand it and I need to glaze it. And then once that is all done, I can, um, while that's all being uh, cured and everything, in the meantime, I can go ahead and um, uh, work on the orders that I have outstanding uh, from Etsy. So uh, yeah, so first off, let's take a look at uh, the uh, the resin that I poured on uh, Sunday. So this is uh, this is the tray. Um, and if you remember, it was several different shades of green and then some blue. Um, I didn't add any glitter. The only thing that I don't like that came out with this one is, um, there are some bubbles. Um, if you can see there, I can see the bubbles. Um, and... So what, what I'll need to do is I'm going to have to sand the bubbles out of them. Um, but that's not, it's not a big deal. Um, uh, I will just sand the bubbles and then this, um, if you can see this, there's like this extra bit of resin sticking out here. I'll sand that off and then, um, uh, you know, I'll, I'll glaze everything and then it'll be done. So um, I think it came really, uh, really gorgeous with the swirls and everything. Um, it, to me, it looks like a really gorgeous, like peacock color. Um, and this is alcohol ink. So um, let's see if I can see anything on the sides, if anything on the, the white push through. Um, it doesn't look like it, but that's all right. It's still, um, I think it still came out really gorgeous. Um, and then, um, the box, um, if you remember, you guys picked out, I think it was burgundy and gold. So this is the lid and it has the black glitter. And then it, I put just a, a little bit of iridescent, uh, glitter. Um, so you can see it came out really shiny. So I'll be just sanding it down to get, um, the sharp edges, um, sand it down and then glaze it just a little bit. Um, but it fits perfectly on top. Um, and, um, you can, and don't forget if you ever get anything of mine that is, uh, is made of resin, it should not ever come in contact with food or drink uh, because it is not food safe. Uh, so this is the top and then this is the bottom. So um, this is the inside, uh, the iridescent glitter. You can see it's kind of like this greenish color. And then you can see the, the black glitter as well. The black glitter is a mixture of um, like a chunky glitter and a fine glitter. So you can kind of see that there. And then this is, um, this is what you would have seen. So um, this is how the mold would have been. So this is how it gets poured in 
and then uh, so this is what you would see at the top and then you know I like I said I mixed it up because um, I don't I don't like seeing the separate lines of the color I like having to uh, to have it all mixed together so um, it mixed I think it mixed well together with the different glitters and the different colors um, so um, the mold that I'm actually going to be using um, for the uh, for um, one of the boxes that somebody ordered that has resin in it is uh, a lotus mold and this came from a subscriber so I'm going to be using this this will hold um, you can put uh, a flameless tea light or you can put stitch markers um, basically whatever you want on the inside so how it works is the resin will go in here and then so I'm gonna be using alcohol ink in this one um, so I'm gonna be using, I think maybe some fall colors in this one. And then um, it, it will be going into somebody's box. Um, so I've been going through some of my molds um, and trying not to use the same molds over and over again. Cause I know it, uh, it kind of gets boring, especially if your repeat buyer because there have been a couple of people that have been repeat buyers and so um they i want to be able to give them something a little different um to have in their collection so okay so as far as um brenda's knots and loops i believe she does have a um a channel on youtube and um i do subscribe to her so i definitely check her out so I did buy um, this cake and it's, the color is 3289 and I believe it's called Moonlight. So it's 53% uh, cotton, 43% PAC, not sure what PAC is, um, and then 4% metallic polyester. Um, but uh, it's... Uh, I think this is the, this, and it's also made in uh, Turkey. So it's very soft. I think this is the Moonlight Cake. Um, and it goes from this uh, gorgeous uh, dark blue to a turquoise to a gray to a, um, a lighter gray mixed with a dark gray. And then of course, it's um, got the glitter uh, thread all the way through. So, um, and let's see if, I'm not sure. Um, this is actually the first yarn art um, cake that I've ever had and touched. So it, it's very soft. And then of course it does have an easy start tab on it. Um, and let's see, it is uh, number one, super fine. And um, anything else? See if we can find any more information. Uh, it's 260 grams or 1,093 yards. So uh, there is a lot of yarn here. Um, you'd be able to, um, you know, make a scarf or, uh, I don't know, a wearable, stuff like that. I'm, I'm not really good as far as judge, a judge of um, when it comes to wearables on what you would need. I'm assuming it would obviously depend on uh, what size you would wear or whoever it is that you're making it for. So I got this uh, from Brenda and her Etsy shop. So like I said, it's yarn art, uh, uh, flowers, and oh, it does say Moonlight, duh. Um, so, um, and like I said, unfortunately the 
um, it ripped and uh, I would try to tape it, but it ripped so much that, that it's not salvageable. But there is, otherwise there is absolutely nothing wrong with the yarn. So I'd like, uh, and just to let you know, I like to show you uh, the yarn that I get. I like unboxing it. So to kind of get you excited about like, what if you do decide to buy yarn uh, mystery boxes from me, that there's the possibility that you can get things like this. Because uh, while my boxes um, range from uh, the end of $55, and right now I have my special edition boxes with the uh, solar flare furls uh, hooks that are, uh, I think they're $85, um, that they are worth, quite a bit more than what um, than what you're paying for retail, you know, um, through my Etsy shop. They're, I would say, at least worth twice, if not three times more than what what you would normally get. I mean, I think I think these these cakes alone are are the, the maybe like twenty five dollars a piece. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe that's how much they are, or maybe they're 15 bucks. So, I mean, you know, it's, it, um, so essentially what I'm saying is, is you get, you get a lot for what you pay for. Um, and then if you add one of my resin items, you add more value, uh, to, uh, uh, to, uh, my mystery boxes. And so far... Um, I haven't had anybody say anything about, you know, not liking what I've gotten uh, or I've given to them. And I, uh, and here's the other thing that I want to make sure you understand. Uh, if you're a content creator, that's fantastic. I love content creators. I love the community, but, um, I don't treat content creators any different than I do non-content creators. So um, if you're a content creator, um, I think that's fantastic because it takes a lot to get in front of the camera and talk to people or to get on a live and do a live by yourself or with other people. Um, but I don't treat content creators any different than I do uh, non-content creators. So when you get a box from me, um, the yarn will be the same either way. You will get um, value yarn. You will get um, the, you know, like this yarn, uh, the uh, hobby yarn. You'll get the yarn art stuff. You'll get um, the hand-painted yarns you'll get LYS stuff. So um, I don't treat anybody special. Everybody is equal. Um, and so um, just because I don't think that's fair because I have seen where, um, because like I'm a small channel, maybe I order something and I don't necessarily will get a like nice and fancier box than say somebody else who has like a hundred times more subscribers than I do. And I mean, I don't care, but I don't think that that's right. Um, everybody is equal. We're all the same. We're all people. Um, and that's how we all should be treated. So I just want to make that clear again that when you order from me on my Etsy shop, all of my boxes are done the same way. I say that you will get three and a half pounds of yarn um, if you are ordering a box that has just yarn or three pounds plus resin item, that's what you'll get. You will get um, what I say um, but you won't get anything extra um, or more um, 
you know, it, it, I, you know, I don't know if I'm even explaining this uh, clearly or like if it makes sense that um, being a content creator doesn't necessarily mean that uh, you're, I treat you more or less than um, a non-content creator. So I just wanted to let you know, okay? So, all right, so we're gonna go ahead and dig into um, Brenda's uh, uh, mystery uh, bag. Uh, and she stuffed this thing full. Uh, and I believe I bought one that is uh, $50. Um, $50. And I didn't uh, give her any specifications. Uh, I just told her to just surprise me. So we shall see what we get. Um, so hold on one second while I pull everything out. Okay, so I got here, the first thing I got is, it looks like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 uh, skeins of Mary Maxim um, Baby's Best. Um, and it is DK weight or sport weight, 70% acrylic and 30% nylon. And it's uh, two, or fine weight um, and it is in shade 44405 so and it looks like it says it's Iku so it's kind of, it's a white or an off-white color so it's a brand new bag which is nice and it's um, enough to make uh, probably a nice uh, baby blanket so I'm gonna leave it uh, closed um, um, the only thing is, um, I don't know when Mary Maxim, uh, closed the bag. This, some, if you can see it, that there somehow got inside of the bag. So if I do decide to split this up, I will be opening it up and I will remove that because nobody wants that in their yarn. All right, then I got um, one skein of this gorgeous gold um, brown uh, denim washed yarn art uh, yarn. And this one is color 927, made in Turkey, 80% um, cotton, 20% acrylic, 50 grams, and it's 142 uh, yards and it is also it's not too fine I don't know if I said that sorry uh, today is a definite brain fog day it's been it's been a rough couple of weeks um so um, that's what I got here um, from yarn art and then I got another yarn art uh, this one is cotton soft, uh, number one, super fine. And this one is color number 51, 55% cotton, 45% um, PAC. Can somebody tell me what that is? Because um, what it says next to it is in another language. Uh, I don't, I'm assuming that maybe it's polyester. Um, and then it's, uh, it's kind of this, it's not red, uh, maybe a fuchsia color, but it's nice and squishy. Um, but it's not something that I can use because it's so fine. Okay. Then I got this and I know this. Um, I've gotten in um, my Mary Maxim uh, mystery bags. 
Uh, I've gotten them in different colors. And so this one is, it's mohair, obviously. So it's 30% mohair and it says mohair look, 40% silk look. I don't know what that means, silk look. I'm assuming it's silk. 30% um, um, premium acrylic, 50 grams or 350 meters. Uh, color 232 um, and um, it, this yarn is a really great yarn it's really soft I really don't care for mohair but um, it would be good to pair with another uh, yarn and this is also made in uh, Turkey um, and all the great yarns are made in Turkey um, and that, that's the way it seems anyway to me. So, um, so yeah, I got one of these. And then um, this is another one. Unfortunately, the, uh, the tag uh, got ripped. Um, that's how it came. Um, is this nice? Um, is this? Can somebody tell me if this is marled? Uh, but it's this really nice foresty uh green or um not foresty green but um i don't know maybe more of a camel green um it's by style craft um a spectrum yarns brand 100 grams um and uh fusion chunky 100 percent premium acrylic and shade uh 1678 and it's actually color uh lime uh so again uh because it's acrylic um it's very soft um so and i don't know if i'll be able to yeah i probably would be able to fix the 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 wrapper so um if I ever get yarns in my um, like mystery bags or orders that are ripped, I will do my best. If I you know do put them in mystery boxes, I will do my best to tape them so that the tags don't get lost. Because obviously you want to know what you're getting. If I don't, if I'm not able to tape them, then I will um, try to uh, put them inside of the yarn so that you know uh, what the yarn is, um, you know, as far as all the specs go. So that's this one, I got one of these. And then I got this one. This one is a universal yarn, and this one is Yashi Iro. Um, it says knit, relax, and re <gasps> knit, relax, smile, repeat. And this it looks like, um, like a raffia and it's a nice um like a jewel toned color so it says uh yashi is japanese for palm tree which is where this raffia fiber yarn comes from use yashi to knit and crochet hats handbags home decor items and more and it's funny um in hawaii um, Hawaiians use raffia a lot as well. Um, they use it to uh, make rope, um, to make uh, nets, to catch fish and stuff like that. So um, this is universal yarns made in Turkey. Um, let's see, it says that it's a one and a half ounces or 124 yards and it's 100% raffia. Uh, and it's a four uh, medium. Um, I don't know, this is kind of interesting. Um, to use in some sort of, it would be fun to use, um, I don't know, in some sort of, maybe you could, um, make it into like a basket or a bag uh, with this. Uh, but I do really like the colors. Um, so there's that. And then um, I have uh, 
seen this on Hobi. Uh, it's Fluffy Day XL. Um, and it is color 12. And it's this nice uh, baby pink. And it's got a uh, halo on it. And it's 100% premium uh, brushed acrylic. And it's the Elko Tex uh, on it as well. And it's a uh, medium for weight. And let's see, it's 100 grams or 153 uh, yards. Uh, and I love Hobie. Hobie is one of my favorite companies to buy uh, yarn from as far as uh, big companies because they have such a wide variety of yarns. While yes, some of their yarns are very expensive, they do have lots of great sales out there if you look. Um, so I got one of these. And then last but definitely not least is I got a Karen Crystal Cake. Um, I think a lot of people love these. Um, this one is in Rattan. Um, actually, I think Thriss. I think she just bought maybe one or two cakes of these. Um, I think she got it from, was it Ollie's? I'm not sure, um, but I know that these are highly, um, these cakes are highly coveted. So, um, so it's a four uh, weight and uh, let's see, it is eight and a half ounces or 634 yards. Um, and it is a gorgeous brown color with different uh, shades of brown with that um, beautiful uh, sparkly uh, yarn. And of course it is not scratchy. I find that um, for the most part, yarns that have the sparkle in them aren't, aren't scratchy. Uh, I have yet to run into yarns that have the sparkle yarn in it that are scratchy. Um, so, um, so yeah, that's what I got from Brenda. Um, I am very happy with what I got. Um, and like I said, uh, I, and, oh, and I have ordered from her before. So I did order a mystery box from her, uh, but I did not ever, I have not ever ordered just a standalone, uh, yarn item from her. So, uh, this is, um, I think the, f the first uh, standalone item that I've ever ordered from her. Um, and another thing too is, is that I am also planning on ordering, or not ordering, um, putting some of my uh, stash items that I don't think uh, should go in my mystery boxes in as standalone items for those of you who may want to purchase them at uh, affordable prices so that um you know if you want to buy them you can um so yeah so uh that's it for uh for this one uh if uh, uh i do have mystery boxes still available in my etsy shop the link to my sh shop is in my uh description box uh, along with um my wish list for Amazon and Etsy. Um, I have one for crochet and for my personal. Um, and actually, before I forget, what is it? Um, here it is. Um, I did get this, um, and it did not say who it was from, um, but I did get this uh, crochet techniques and tips uh, book uh from a subscriber so thank you very much this was on my wish list uh thank you for uh picking this up for me um it it has uh lots of uh you know pointers and stuff like that um so uh it's it's a, a nice uh little book uh to give you uh you know stitches, uh, how to join stuff, fastening off, and things like that. So thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate it uh, because uh, any gifts from you guys are 
are always welcome. I, um, I love you guys to death. You guys have gotten me to where I am right now, which is over 300. Um, I am working on a uh, giveaway, but what I need to do first before I do that is uh, clear off my to-do list uh, before I do the giveaway. I need to make sure that I have all my orders shipped out and um, the prizes from my last giveaway shipped out before I do anything else. Um, otherwise, I will lose my mind. Um, so anyhow, um, um, if you have not subscribed uh, to my channel, please do uh, help me get to 400 so I can hold another giveaway. I'll do a 300 um, give, um, subscriber giveaway and then I'll do a 400 and so on and so on. Um, and then when I hit a thousand, I will do a bigger one, um, just because why not? Uh, I'd like to be monetized, but that's ultimately, that is, that is not my goal. Um, my goal is to educate people about mental health, self-care and chronic illness and chronic pain. Uh, anything else on top of that is uh, just frosting on uh, the wonderful uh, cake uh, that I have been enjoying through all of this. Uh, so I and, and then of course I am slowly learning to enjoy uh, doing lives as well. Um, I'm slowly getting more comfortable uh, standing in front of the camera and talking to everybody uh, with lives. Doing this pre-recording, that's different. Doing it live, a completely different animal. So anyhow, um, please subscribe um, and uh, hit the like button because uh, it helps um, my videos show up. Um, on your feed along with other people and then hit that notification button so you know uh, when I put out new videos. So um, until next time, I will talk to you guys all later. Bye.